Welcome to Starfinder, <laughs> The Fragments of Eternity, <laughs> Session 39, Part 2, straight faces everyone as best as you can, and it is the 20th oh. of January, 2020. I'm Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. Hello! I'm Nico. I'm playing Zoro, the vice captain. Greetings. I'm Alex, and I play Nix 5.1, the android mechanic. Greeting. Call him a man, eh? Nah? <laughs> <laughs> Try that again. I was deliberately saying it wrong, Stay and then it on came out target. much Just wronger carnival. than I meant it to. <laughs> carnival. Hi, I'm Colin. I play like a crank. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky spooky. <laughs> Hi, I'm Calvin Blazig. Yay! I can do it quicker than that. So you're getting. Can, <laughs> uh... can I can we get more though? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, if, you, if you want. Oh my. Hi everybody. I'm Callum. And I play the character, the little space rat boy, who is known as Zig. The burning sun. Perfect. Master of the Oh okay. <laughs> the the bears. Oh, okay, never mind. Yep. No. That's, that's, that's all I get. Okay. For now. For now. <gasps> More to follow. But anyway, Oops. so now that we've done that, just for Nico's reimbursement, so to speak, you uh, were at the table. The Joy Queen said something along the lines of, let me go get you that promise I made so that we could maybe stay in chat longer and you can leave when you want so that you don't think I'm holding you here, etc. So there's no ill will. Right? That was the gist of what she was saying. Policy, just generally. Yeah. That people should. Mm. So. I'm taking notes, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> I just think of the new lessons you could teach Alice, right? Um, like Get paid. Lessons. Yeah. Oh, man. Genius um, new business idea. Sometimes it's okay to lie to people. Yeah. <laughs> um, best, best advice ever. But, yes, there was a. Scream that was described as a T Rex being killed by a megaphone that cut her That's off. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Wait, <laughs> okay, killed by a megaphone. Yeah. You I really me. quite catch that part. I, I yeah. heard like the, the yeah. T Rex megaphone part. Someone put a megaphone into T Rex. So, and that's not where megaphones should be. No, no. It is not. I, no. you're welcome. I, I agree. Yeah, me too. Also, okay. They also me too. Um, right. So her view snaps to like a kind of doorway that's just like an archway, sorry, that leads off to a corridor where the sound reverberated all the way down. What does everybody else do? The same, probably. Leans yep. slightly to the left and looks over at it. And then she says. Oh, it seems we have company. Would you mind terribly seeing what that was? Yes. Um, I take this opportunity to cast Reflecting Armor myself. Okay. <laughs> I take this opportunity to load my gun. All valid. All valid. Next five sighs and puts his helmet on, lifts yeah. his gun. Good boy. And she, um, she says, if I'm not mistaken, it sounds like uh, Nishlora. I don't know if MD understands that word or not, but yeah. Is it Drow? Uh, it means family. <laughs> 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 oh man, that's funny on like three levels. To do that. It's just, uh, yeah. The first like elven word uttered by a drow in my thirteenth age campaign was "famlin," yes. and that was meant like kin or family. And then obviously there's the Lilo and Stitch reference. Yes. Oh, Hannah means family. A family means no one gets left behind. Perfect. So let's go and not leave whatever this is behind, then, shall we? 
Okay. Or does that mean you're dragging SK with you? I don't actually understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking SK everywhere with me. Sincerely though, is that a phrase any of us would know? Because we do have drive speakers. <laughs> uh, it's just the idea of drive speakers. <laughs> like, like purple ears that like just got subwoofers built in. You're a sub. Thank you. So yeah, who does speak drive? Me. I do. Of course I speak drill. Yeah, do you want to give me a culture check? No. Okay. Yes. Don't I will culture. Uh, <laughs> yes, culture, culture. Get a bit of culture! Yeah. That was the worst I can roll. That oh, was, was the best uh, I can roll. <laughs> we did well on this one. The best I can roll the second roll I've made too far off. Oh, no, I, I didn't see the, the, the first one. Yes. So, realistically, who would actually have an insight into the fauna of Castravel. Probably not me. <laughs> Absolutely well, the yellow bot just in my spare time, right? <laughs> I, I speak I Castrovelian, so I mean I must I must have some 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 sort of knowledge. I don't think I'd be that familiar. Guaranteed it was reading that Nick's five did when um what's her name joined the crew? Yeah. Emlyn. Andy. Emlyn. Yes, yeah. thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> of all my the brain. people to forget who know, Emlyn was. Poor. Wow. Uh, <laughs> also, shout out to Olga. Uh, how dare he? Quite frankly. Uh, <laughs> I'm appalled. <laughs> yeah, I will pay for that later. Oh dear, so good. Uh, yeah, so, those who have like a reason to know the fauna um, of Castroville, uh it's kind of like a T-Rex. With a megaphone up its <laughs> Megaphone attack. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Like film. a Megaphonus Rex, yeah. Yes, a Megaphonus Rex. Yeah. So, did you just go investigate? <laughs> Sigh. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it's yeah, why not? Idea. Does it though? It does. It doesn't seem like the worst thing we've ever done. It probably is not. I'll be honest. See, in terms of the things <laughs> well, we have done, it. it's an animal, right? Generally speaking, animals are pretty shootable. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is their defining feature. That's how you tell an animal from a non-animal. As compared to like uh, psychic manifestation, <laughs> is it the psychic manifestation of a T-Rex? I mean, we'll find out, right? If you just go up the, the, the weird, windy passageway of reverberation. Uh, I'm picturing Nick's five is now just trudging up it. The way of Tyrannus. Right, slowly blinking. I'm, yeah, I'm, following, I'm following Nick. <laughs> yeah, it's obviously like the kind of pathway is kind of all overgrown as well. It kind of leads out into like forestry. Um, and kind of like the heat comes back to like the vault. The Like the humidity of the vault comes back. And um, it gets very, very bright up ahead. So like you're night like your adjusted visions all either like react to the fact that it's getting like naturally brighter. Um but again that vibe of the vault with the sweaty, hot, clingy heat comes back. And uh Lovely. He's, Yeah, I know right. And you just push on into this and you just roll initiative. One second. Oh like an initiative Oh, I recognise that! It's the thing that's in the Pact World's book! Yeah. It's like a... Tyranidsaurus Rex. Except the Tyranids <laughs> are kind of dinosaur beast, but yeah. Look at his tiny arms. <laughs> Fuck. Shit arms. His tiny little shit prick. Um... I didn't realise I was muted. I was just saying, how am I so bad at the... No, I rolled a thirty. Add yourself. I clicked on my character. I definitely did. God damn it! Well, maybe your character didn't want you to. Yeah, partly so. Can you drag and drop your character onto the map and try again. Um. Also, Lyco, can right. you do your initiative normally? So you add a turn in. As we. Oh yeah, sorry. Of course, I forgot we agreed go. that. There you go. And you got a slightly better roll there, Zora. So don't complain. Also, where the hell did you drag your character onto? Oh, uh, should now, how have I not selected? I haven't selected. There we go. That should work. There we go. What was your first roll you got there, like though? A thirty. Thirty. Dear Christ. I want that one. Now you can have that one. That's fine. So long as you like, I'll take the first of those rolls that happen. 
That makes sense. So long as we have to manually add this, but you better add your face into the turn order manually, otherwise I'm not doing it. Um, let's see. Everybody can move their tokens. Can you go up one and down one? Uh. So, Nyx is broken. <laughs> <laughs> You've all had the equivalent of at least a 10 minute rest, by the way, as well, with the chat. So, whatever happens what on a 10 minute rest. Again? <laughs> I heal all of these hit points that I didn't lose. I have no idea what my stat should be because I can't remember. Do we have to use a resolve point to get X amount back? Is that it? It's a resolve point for all stamina back, basically. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I've lost a resolve point for all stamina back. That feels like these days I remember resolve points are a thing. I'll lose the resolve point because I assume I use my energy shield. Okay. So. <laughs> I... Let me add this in as well. Dum, 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 dum. How dangerous do I feel that this beast is? Da, 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 da. Uh, it doesn't have any magic spells that's going to fill it in. Probably not. No poisonous gas. Neither. Is there I anyone could... an expert on these? I don't think so, considering we had to debate over whether any of us knew what the fuck they were. Uh, probably not. <laughs> Yeah. It looks so, scary. So this, he's come out, this thing's there, it's obviously looking displeased. It kind mm. of like sniffs the air a bit, kind of stops, turns, regards you as, you all roll initiative randomly, everybody gets their dice out, this thing's awkward with its dice because of its blade hands. And then... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you all work out, uh... Also, by the way, it credits its initiative, by the way, I was really pleased by that, so... It does, I wasn't. It, it sadly doesn't do that well, though, with a crit. Critical initiative. Um, but yeah, so... What do? Oh dear. I shoot it! Um, <laughs> we're not, we're not ask it how it's doing! It's a fucking T-Rex! Look, it might be a nice T-Rex! I love that this is the actual debate, because it like, <laughs> throws up his gun. And then Zig's no. like, but it might be nice. And then move slightly so that I'm not shooting Zig. I'll speak to it in Reptilian. Okay. Uh, yes, the <laughs> universal language of all archosaurs. Um, what to do is everyone just hold their turns and see what it does. Oh, Hannah means family. Shawati means... Shawati. Shirin, I rifle Full attack. None. And you've got that awesome shooting from the hip move now, don't you? Now that I understand the rules, yeah. <laughs> it's a 19 hat. What are you hitting? KC. KC. Yes. Um... Yay! Alright, let me deal with this now. So, I need to work out if this actually does damage. Yep, so you shoot it, it gets shot. It screams in pain. It somehow now goes from looking curious at you to looking uh, angry at you. Maybe we should go back to the talk chip. I speak to an reptilian. <laughs> I, I mean, these aren't do. intelligent creatures, are they? If they are, fuck's sake. <laughs> what are you playing <laughs> there? It was actually <laughs> the drow king all along. <laughs> King of the Drow. We fall into another plan to coup. <laughs> yep, you have cooed another monarchy. <laughs> oh, hey. It's just what we do. Yep. It's actually just a really, really big game of galactic coup. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do for three. Uh, <laughs> it's more like it. Um, oh, so, anything else, Lyco? I don't think there's anything left for me to do considering I moved in order to get a clean shot. Mm -hmm. That I fear for I, I would uh, say that my turn is over. Next. <laughs> next is next. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> oh, sorry, my map work has been terrible. Sorry, everybody at home who's listening. It's my fault. It's okay. It's all fixed now. Fuck. Oops, it is. This is fuck. 
I am I swear to god I probably am gonna get that tattooed one day. I just hmm. am too fat to get any tattoos <laughs> at the moment. Like seriously, because my weight's up and down so badly, it's like I'm never usually this heavy. So why don't getting... you get it tattooed either too wide or too thin on your face? Whatever. No, not my face. You're not allowed to really. Forehead. It. It's oh. got to be forehead, man. Right. So Nick's is doing a, a wee cheeky target look. Combat yeah, tracking. Tattooed his forehead. Yep. Yeah. He's already got a couple. It's fine. Mm -hmm. mm. Damaged. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. This combat tracking is a move action. And then I'm going to give him a friendly... <laughs> <laughs> a friendly oh, hit. <laughs> <laughs> he falls uh, over. Tata. It's a Just a mild <laughs> plasma cannon to the face. Which will not hit. It does not hit, sadly. No. no. It does not. So that means you get free ammo? Yes. It doesn't mean it gets free ammo. It means it doesn't use ammo. It doesn't just fall out of the sky. <laughs> as a gift. <laughs> That doesn't, how is that any more sensible that, oh, if you don't hit your target, the ammo goes back in? <laughs> Excuse me, I am an energy efficient. Yeah, recycler. that's what he is. Oh, I knew I would have missed that one, so I just didn't take the shot. That, that was literally <laughs> it. Like, it's I'm, like, run, just, I'm just uh, running maybe. simulations. Yeah. I mean, that I would actually buy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Um, I'll only take this shots you know you can hit. Does your Take combat tracking automatically add the bonuses the shots. to it? Yeah, that's already out. Cool. Also added. Cool. Okay. Uh, Take 100% of the shots. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Okie dokie. It's it's cool. Oh, excuse me. It's going to go all the way to there. You can move the tracking if you wish. I can try. And then, <coughs> because Zora is kind of in its way, sadly, it's going to... Rep, Zora. I'll show that to Mr. Dora. Um, it shows back with its bite attack. Ah! <laughs> Yeah. Nobody likes you when you're 23. Om nom nom. Ah. Yep. I mean, it just roars a bit more. It's got this weird, horrible little inversion reverb going on. And it's. Um... Reinversion. Your turn. Okay. Oink, get a wee bit of that. And then a wee bit of, a wee bit of that, and then, and then... <laughs> it bites, you go, I should wear my armour. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just shoot it. I know if I asked this about a million times, but is it actually like... There's no disadvantage to like melee shooting it, I don't know. It's like... I thought there was. I thought you um, could fire a rifle. I think it gets an opportunity attack. Oh. Guess an opportunity attack, that's just unfortunate. I don't like that. Um, I'll shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> so you want me to take an opportunity attack then? Yeah, yeah. Great. I mean, so I don't take one next time when I shoot it. Yeah, I mean, it means like a lot of people <laughs> could like, get it away, right? Yeah, I mean, that's true. It only gets one, yeah. That is a yak. That's a miss. 19. For your yak, yeah. Yes, yeah, 1919. Nice. I am 19 on both. Excellent. You actually get to say AC19. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, so, so easy. <laughs> uh, and then I will. <laughs> Kablamo! And Kablamo! And that's against Iak, I Iac. imagine. Iac. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Ooh. Let's see. You start laying into it with your laser rifle. Kind of feeling good about your Get life choices back. with your laser rifle again. Yeah, yeah. Not mutant anymore. <laughs> bastard. You bastard. That's my turn. Okay. Zig. 
Zig is going to no Hinosaurus Rex coming for you. <laughs> using his new spell. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> a Rex. <laughs> a Rex. <laughs> okay. So, well, we'll start anyway. We'll see. We'll see if it does. Right, a new any rule, right? If you refer to it and you don't call it a different type of name, you get an opportunity attack to take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Good job. It's already used this reaction then, huh? Um, huh? No, no. I, I need. I need a. I need a fort save. A fort save from what? Fortitude, a save from my a psychokinetic strangulation. I don't think your psychokinetic strangulation needs to do a fort save. I think you mean some kind of creature that has a name. You're going to tell me. Oh, the that thing. Mm -hmm. The the Tyrannoslash's hex. That'll do. Good enough. Uh, fort save you want? Yes, please. That saves. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. Yep, so it's going to take half of the damage. So the damage. What's it going to be? Nine? Um, yes, if it's rounded. Yeah. Uh, uh, half of 19, whatever. It's, yeah, eight, so nine. No, eight. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. It's nine. It's very much nine. <laughs> it's nine. <laughs> it's ten if it's rounded up. It's, it's not. It's, it's, it's nine. What? So it's half of 19, right? It's 9.5. Yes. So oh, and it's rounded down. down. Yeah. Cool. Because 9.5 isn't a real number. What type of yes. damage is this? <laughs> so that uh, bludgeoning damage. Okay. Unfortunately, got uh, avoided being immobilized, but that's okay. That would have been something else to actually see, though. This would have been the Baby Yoda moment again. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> it's actually, it's actually like a ridiculous spell, though. It's awful. It is. It is. Yeah, it cannot move, and it must hold its breath. Which is ridiculous. Yes. There we go. Otherwise, and I was just reading the suffocation rules there as well. <laughs> suffocation. No breathing. But no. Um. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I guess. I guess. I guess that's it. I, I might guess. take a guarded step back. Can I do that? Uh, can you move after you've done your action? Oh, yeah. I don't actually know. Yeah. There's no order. So. Yeah, if you're not mix, I think you can't break your move up though in this one, can you? It has yeah, to be can't. all in one go. Yeah, it's like you have to do one or the other. You can't go move, attack, move. That'll do. Okay. Uh, right. Who is next? Back up to Lego. Lyco, 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 Lyco. Like, just basically taking like chunks out of Zora. I will move. Uh, let me just see how far I can move the top on that. I can go quite comfortably over here. Okay. And as I do that, I mean, obviously, I can go further than that, but I just wanted to see what kind of. As I do that, I will reload. Okay. Yeah. And uh, once more, I shall shoot at the part in the USA source. Okay. Um, fire! Hits. So I hit again. I that. Yep. And as I do that, I I, I will shout. Um, sh sh should we check with her if she wants it dead? So, how about I cover this for you? The thing gets shot, so your sure and I rings out in the like the jungle. He, the shot smacks into the thing's neck, not too far away from the the first shot that hit it. Okay. The thing just like goes to like do that horrible megaphone death screaming, you know, death rattle, I guess, uh, and it kind of like gets cut out halfway, like somebody's screaming and then their throat being punctured 
and then the thing okay. falls over and dies. We did well, it, guys. Yeah. Well, that answers your question. Okay. Rex. The Jamalama Tirana is now dead. Goodbye to the Tirana Oral Sex. <laughs> the Retho Resource. <laughs> Uh, so, what do you do? I don't mean to put Rita or in the same category as Miley, because Miley is actually extremely good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Just just casually dunking Rita over here, don't worry. Um, but now I she will watch our stream. She may. Hate. <laughs> Not fair to do. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> anyway. I don't know why I've decided to do this. Uh, everyday role Um <laughs> Anyway. I, I would join you in surveying the corpse. Every day, roll perception. The perception. Wow, that's trash. <laughs> there is no corpse. There never was. Uh, so, I guess only Lyco notices this. Stomping out from the trees. Dun 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 <laughs> oh, dun, 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 dun. The mother. Dun. Mother T Rex. Uh, no, I just need a bit of initiative again. Mother Rex. Right, we're, we're going with whichever one I roll first, are we? I need you to add yourself to the turn order. And by then, rolling normally. Right. And How about we just your... go with whatever one I roll with the proper thing? So do you want me to just That's add four question. to this? Oh, I wasn't selected. <laughs> How was I not selected? I was just moving my. <sighs> Well, I, I, well, I'll roll it with the button, and then I'll oh, roll with the right? up. Yeah. <laughs> just ignore whatever this is, that's just adding me. Good roll, but it's just adding me. And that's my... <laughs> Fucking hell, Colin. Colin. Uh, I rolled a one and a two. Oh, no, I've dodged myself! Edit that out! Edit it out! Um, so you're 26. I got a 26 and another 26 and a 20. So we'll average the... Um, is that 26? That's 26. I mean, yeah. Okay. you're already 26 in this. So... Yep. That, that's good enough. <laughs> yep. Was my was my surname also there, by the way, guys? Who knows? So possible. I don't. Does it matter? Does it actually matter? So, Lyco, you see this coming, or maybe you hear it stomping through. Everybody else is maybe too busy staring at the corpse of the giant thing. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. Uh. Do I have time to act? Is it actually... I mean, literally, it's your turn, so... It, has it actually rolled a 1? I just thought it hadn't rolled yet. Uh, no, it rolled a 1. It's in the actual chat. It, that is... Oh, Jesus Christ. I rolled a 20 on my first one. Fucking, it's fucking one Barney one. over here stumbling shittily through the forest. This probably just explains why it, never, it wasn't here, you know? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> for me! Um, uh, Marjorie! I will simply, simply say, incoming very loudly mm. and uh, raise my gun let me see do I have a bead in it? I probably don't know no Yeah. actually how much does that block my view? Uh, you can see it Yeah. I can see it through the leaves so like yeah. under the leaves or over the leaves or whatever under those big Wombling leaves free. over the other ones wombling free. right <laughs> the wimbles have wombled in uh, so yeah I suppose I can reload and shoot yeah shoot huh I, I, I reload and uh, and I shoot. Oh, I am shocked. Oh wow! I can't believe you got there. You got there. It hits you. Yay! See if it turns out these are our pets or something. I, to be fair, I don't think they last five hundred years, but who knows? Um, I mean, yeah, give or take, however long she's been in there. Yeah, it's definitely. I really suppose true. that would be my turn, folks. Okay, okay, and then we've got Zig. Mwah! And now you turn see, it into a new. Does your, was it reflective armor you cast on yourself? How long does that last? Yes. It lasts 10 minutes plus um, something or other. Doesn't matter, it's still on, don't worry. If it's 10 minutes, it's definitely still on. Yeah, then plus X amount per mm. level. Divided by one. <laughs> Doubled. But what are you um, doing? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Oh, I forgot what I was doing. Rats. Oh yeah, right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast my shooting stars at it as a 
I'm going to assume Ooh. it's in range because let's face it, it's the magic missile of the spell, uh, the system. So yes, it's it's something stupid like the, a, a million feet by now. It's 120 something feet. Nico, something. what was that measurement? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> hey, but good. Um, so I'll cast it as a full thingy, so it's three instead of two. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I've done this right. Uh, so that should be one, question mark? Oh, heck. No, I'm confused. Nope, that's just your casting oh, spell. One. So you need to push the button each time for the damage roll. Where is it? Right, let's try this again. Oh, here we go. We'll do that one. Okay, two seconds to attract this as we go. That's one missile. Right? Yep, this is two. Yep. And that's three. That's three. <laughs> yes. Yep. So we get smacked with your little sun motes. Pew, pew, pew. Yep. You streak across the and then... jungle, smack into it. <laughs> it roars. <laughs> Everybody shakes from their bones outwards. I must take like exhales. <laughs> and that's it. That's all I can do. And yet. Dara, twice bitten, but not shy. Twice bitten, but not shy indeed. Um... Mm. You're not on fire yet. It's true. So it's I'd true. say this combat has been a success so far. <laughs> um, how much was in between the last fight? Was it less than a round? Uh, like, mm, why? Why do you ask? What, uh, what just falls to off? My solar arm, just to see if my solar armor and my stellar mode would have still been active. Let's see, yeah. Let's be kind, right? Okay. Um, so, I guess I'm two or three then. Two or three photon. Uh, let's just. Well, I really need this, I don't think, but. Let, let's just full attack it for the sake of full attack it. Why not? Okay. Um, it would be great if every time he killed one of these, it just did a death rattle and another one appeared. <laughs> I mean, that's an XP Before that's for actually a, a thing. <laughs> so. Does it die? Uh, what's the total? 16 plus 15 plus 12, 32, 30, 31, sorry, 33, 43 plus 6 burn damage. I already crossed it out. <laughs> okay. Once <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> nice. you reach the threshold, um, I crossed it out. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, just, just, for, just for future. Um, my reflecting armor is 10 minutes per level, so it's 80 Your minutes. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> yep. Probably these rules against Dragon Man. Good damn it. <laughs> um, I, I think these still miss against the Dragon Man, but whatever. <laughs> oh, God damn! <laughs> I don't remember the ACs. Yeah, really probably they would. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I was getting a lot of like. Let me find the stats. Upper I'll see teens. If I can, uh, where did I put the stats for that dude? And if you're gonna get teens, guys, make sure it's upper teens. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Keep it legal, guys. Yeah, those miss. The other one. Good damn it. I mean, a wild Ohanosaurus Rex versus a trained dragon soldier, right? What were you hoping for? Tyrannosaurus Rex, quite frankly. I mean. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so. They're both lying, kind of. Well, one of them is very much smouldering. The other one's got a few slugs in it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. Yeah, that was pretty. Uh, and then just painless. Dip, 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 dip. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that was fun. That what they, happened. What, 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 what do these taste like? Waste not, want not, right? Waste not, want not. Want not. Definitely want not. Mm. I shrug. <laughs> yeah. 
You just hear like the kind of noises of. I guess the instinctually you spent a lot of time in the vault, so the at like your brain probably still has a lot of the same kind of triggers as the vault vibe here, but it doesn't have the non background noises. Like this has got like the noises of like crickets and life and like bird calls and stuff. So mm -hmm. it must be a weird sensation because it's the same humidity and temperature. Just it's a bright living place instead of a weirdly creepy, sweaty inside of a thing place, right? That makes no sense. Good. I'm glad you agree. Yes. Sorry. Good story. Oh. Good. So, yeah. What's the plan? Um. um. I check its pockets for loot. No. Way. <laughs> uh, yeah, you find uh, uh, ten gold. Uh, you find uh, a bard's loot and a, a map with a mysterious X on it. You find none of that. <laughs> um, Zig is gonna run back, realizing that they've left the egg unattended. Right. So. I will oh. shrug and head back. And shortly, after a good day's T-Rex hunting. I will uh, reload my gun and uh, observe to myself uh, and to everyone else, but sort of just the world allowed. Huh. That wasn't so much of an issue. wonder why she was so concerned. It was too easy. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, you're gone, so I'm assuming that's not in character. <laughs> I will follow back inside, having said. Yes, that is not. Good. Yeah, maybe it dawns on Lyco though. Like, you obviously you have your comment, Lyco, and then maybe Turn and Zig is already like scampering down the the path. You hear maybe yeah. footsteps on the stone, um, because it was like from the the face that you just came out of, like from the yeah. the neck, it kind of like a hidden door, essentially. Oh. Um, and. What's everybody else doing? Is everybody else going down the, the tunnel again, or are they still? Yep, yep. I mean, okay. there, there actually, to be fair, there was a sense of it being too easy. Mm -hmm. But then, who knows? We well, can't always read into it. Uh, Next. That, that does seem a bit unnecessary. Um, Is Nick just kind of standing there staring at them? Yeah, kind of like these, these were just beasts in there. Habitat. Your plasma yeah. cannon cools down. Having not hit a single one. <laughs> Just pat one of them on the head. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and then turn and walk back in. I think, like... So here's a thing I would like to have added if you weren't in, like, full-on armor, right? Yeah. Because you're in full-on armor and you're an android, and I would like to have added if MD had normal hands, not clad in... Sp Bell Aegis exosuit <laughs> nonsense that when you touched it there would have been like weird sonic reverb just coming from it idling hmm. uh, just a mm. weird after effect of these things with their weird screams but yeah, yeah. but that that detail doesn't matter anymore that's just in the special features director's commentary uh, thank you if anybody wants any more of that uh, just subscribe to our highest level Patreon which incidentally is our only level Patreon <laughs> one million dollars <laughs> <laughs> One million dollars! <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, so we transition back to our screen. Just to remind everybody where we are. Just a half finder. Yeah. The beautiful. The fragments of eternity. And yeah, so he's head back down, he's working way back to the room, the big kind of conference room type thing. And the drag queen's just kind of leaning with like her backside sat against the table, like kind of staring at the door as you like zig runs in. The egg hasn't moved, S Kate hasn't moved, the drag queen is just leaning there, what kind of waiting for you guys to come back. What does Zig do? Because you get there first, obviously. Starts starts kind of glowing out of relief. It's just actually going bright. Like physically, yes, glowing. Yeah, and I think like she shields her eyes. Um, and she smiles a bit and she says, if you could perhaps not glow so brightly. Uh, and then he kind of catches up himself and is like, oh, 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 yeah. Sorry. 
and then dims himself. Yeah, and then she kind of like. There's her still hand. a happy glow there. Yeah, and she like lowers her hand, and you can see that she is smiling. Um, again, evidently pleased to see you. What was the disturbance? Is it what I think it was? And she like raises an eyebrow. Tarana sore ass. Just a couple of lizards. So do you like come down the stairs next or the, the pathway next? Yeah. Mm. You can walk into that. Ah, yeah. yes. The local fauna, I imagine. Yes. Not particularly what you're used to fighting. Very loud, but uh not all that dangerous. And what of your lizard? She waits to see if Zora comes down the ramp next. <laughs> what down the ramp? <laughs> she, like, I resent that statement. She, like, I'm an intelligent being. She puts her <laughs> hand over her chest and kind of like foes like indignation. <laughs> and um, she says, or feigns, not foes, feigns indignation, I guess. And um, she says, I am ever so pleased that you all survived such an ordeal. Yes, yes, you will not be a widow yet. <laughs> <laughs> and that catches her off guard like that. Like, like she totally breaks her facade, you know, like. <laughs> and then, like, her, like, her lips tighten again and she says, Can you retrieve the carcasses? <sighs> so I turn you to dragged it. <laughs> you have dragged it back. <laughs> They are quite large. Uh, so yeah, what do you do? Uh, I would fain, uh, I would fain, like, uh, discomfort, and I would go back. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, um, and now, how could you tell me to drag one of my kin back? <laughs> Did you just have indignation a moment ago? <laughs> 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 oh dear. Stuff of. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, so I assume he's going to grab them, then both of them, yeah. drag them in. Um, yeah, I don't think you can roll, you just can manage this. If you, if you can roll an egg upstairs, you can manage dragging these things into this place. Um, dodge about, dodge they, pro around. they probably do that weird, horrible megaphone noise as air escapes them, right? Like a bagpipe's been kicked down the stairs. Okay. <laughs> it's probably horrible to hear in the close confinements of like the tunnel he's left through. Yeah. Oh, don't let me get my tunnel. Oh, I God. think I can shut off my cybernetic ears. <laughs> That's handy. Don't think everybody can do yeah. that. <laughs> no, it's an implant that I got. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's pretty handy. <laughs> It's probably really good for the crew you're with as well. Yep. Uh, shots the fired. Nerve. Shots fired. The nerve. <laughs> I know, ballsy, but okay. Uh, yeah, so you drag them in, and obviously by the time I you get to there, she's clearly like got some tools sitting across the table. And she picks up a bunch of different knives and blades. And turns to you excitedly. Uh, we're not having this for dinner, are we? What's left of it after I'm finished, yes. Right. Does that not sit well with your war-forged stomach? I have some suspicions about the fauna of Castrovel. It kind of like stops, like like completely frozen, and kind of stares at you as if waiting on the suspicions. And if you don't make any actions or reply, she'll respond. So let me know. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, like five just leaves it hanging. Yeah, and then she kind of just like slowly continues what she was about to do anyway, as if okay, there's no more to that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, she'll get used to it. Yeah, and she says. I think it's time I 
armed myself for the upcoming difficulties. And she stares straight at Zora when she says that. If they're as bad as you stated, I'll need a weapon. And she just starts hacking this thing's arms off. It's in no way graceful. <laughs> And like every cut and stuff has that kind of horrible sonic screeching noise as the blade cuts into it. It's not ideal. Um, yeah. What does, what does everybody else do? Would <laughs> raise an eyebrow. <laughs> Even I think this is barbaric. <laughs> an ocular ridge. <laughs> Is this how people of your age arm themselves? With literal arms? <laughs> she kind of like laughs and kind of stops and she does that thing where she like, she's like obviously crouched, like kind of hunched down and she puts like her, her hands on her shoulder and her dress is like covered in this thing's like, I don't know, like glowing yellow blood. And um, she kind of looks up at you and like wipes her nose a bit and it's got the, like smear the blood over it. And she's like, how would you get a weapon? Ah, you know, yeah. and she would, like she says, "How would you get a weapon if you found yourself in the wild with no home?" Um, similarly, but yeah, you pass judgment on me, and she stands up, uh, and you re remember how tall she is at this point. I think I could just give you one of my pistols. Yeah, well, I just I've got a dosh go back and not not ship isn't here. Oh, <laughs> she rolls her eyes and says Your words fail my ears Simpler terms, please Bag, bag, stab, stab We have them <laughs> She kind of nods like, She nods but in the sense that you can clearly tell she wasn't impressed by that Like, it's the kind of <laughs> <I like that>. <laughs> <laughs> But she understood it um, Yeah so she just goes back to work and just hacking the things a bit and gets like more tools and like components from the table and she just starts building something. I watch with interest. Yeah. Uh, do you want to roll See, engineering so or something if you want? Um, do I want to roll engineering? <laughs> yes. I think that's the only crafting skill I can think of. Maybe mechanics, actually. Maybe mechanics. There's not mechanics. There's only engineering. Life science. <laughs> I am um, a mechanic. Okay. That one then. Well, he's at that. I sort of. That I'm is also watching trash. That I'm watching. And I'm going to roll too. Such trash. trash. Oh my. But uh, I was, I was just uh, sorry, sorry. Zig just watches Nick's watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was that, Colin? Sorry. That's like, oh. While there's while, while they're sort of well while Nick's is scrutinising the process, I was sort of you know also watching, but sort of leaning in his direction. Well, really, sorry, uh, leaning the captain's direction and say like, wouldn't you just use your claws? Uh, yeah, plan. <laughs> I like that <laughs> Zora, like Zora a, looks like down at her hands. <laughs> Do you know what I love about like this though? Right, what I love about this scene is, when you just use your claws, the civilised Vesk, as we all know him, looks down at his hands and goes, Oh yeah. <laughs> and then the camera then does an entry shot of a Nyx, sorry not Nyx, sorry Lyco, um, <laughs> as he's doing the clawing motion and you've got the blade housing in his forearms <laughs> <laughs> such a weird group <laughs> yep <laughs> it's like most of the time I don't think I'll be stuck with it but... <laughs> I think the only one who doesn't have a natural weapon at the moment is Nyx5 right um when do you get the self-destruct built into your chest I feel like <laughs> half of his weapon is probably part of him at this point <laughs> um what have I got? Yeah, I mean, I don't think I've got I like anything. Well, I can turn my ears off, so that's something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can turn literally anything around me into a weapon. You can weaponize passive aggressive behavior. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. uh, so good. And to be fair, I don't think I need weapons. I just stand there and can take the hits. Yeah, pretty tanky. <laughs> um, like you just walk up and hold the thing and goes, please, will you kill this quickly? <laughs> <laughs> Please oh, do <okay>. not resist. <laughs> you are being rescued. 
<laughs> so good. Here's the night just um, K2SO. Yeah. <laughs> 100% sold on that. Um, well, that's your Star Wars character sorted. Um, Excellent. So, yeah. Um, Cause you distress. Um, <laughs> Did you know that wasn't me? <laughs> um, right, anyway, so a fair bit of time passes. Then to, like spark up conversation or whatever, because she's just gonna work away. I think I'd probably just be question anything that I don't understand going on there. I was just really watching it, just going, ooh, ee. <laughs> yeah, and then um, whatever she's making, she's making two of as well. It seems to be uh, swords, presumably. Fairly right? obvious. I mean. Do you want to roll engineering? Okay, sure. It's just like, she's an elf. She's got blades. What's she going to meet with them? I mean... Do you want to roll racism? Can I roll some under the other as well? What's racism? (laughs) 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 Eleven. It wasn't the best roll. Yeah, I think maybe you think, yeah, elves stab stuff with swords, right? So maybe that is your thinking. It's true. Um... (laughs) But yeah, and she like she takes like the big blades from the arms of these things, um, and she's separated them into two piles. And she's also cut off the little arms as well with the tinier blades. Um, and she seems to like be putting them in pairs, so a big blade and a small blade. Um, and yeah, she uh, after about maybe a couple of hours, right? So a, a good amount of time passes. Um, again, if MD has any damage, they wish to resolve point away. I guess that's what stamina is for. Right, um, and let's see. Do I have an image of this? Don't know how well this image is going to come up, but let's see. It should be good enough. Uh, there's two of these on the table. By the time she's finished. Mm. <coughs> uh, a goth. And she picks up one of them and kind of like turns it over in her hand and such. And let me just copy and paste. Uh, she hands one to Zora, the bottom one on that list that I've just put in, the level 11. Oh, so she's that's stand- why your people's wedding rings. So she, she stands up and she's holding both of them, and people, like if you're listening, you can hear the kind of hum from them ever so slightly as she Ooh. moves them through the air. And she looks at them and she says, you know, it's nice to make something again. She kind of like just looks pleased with herself, and then she like walks up and just hands one, like just forces it into like your arms. I am Zora, and she says, "If it's good enough for a queen, it's good enough for a king." And she just smirks at you and walks away. (gasps) (gasps) Billy, (laughs) I'm just kind of like you know, test the balance here. Just like, "Ah." yeah, it feels like a level eleven weapon, which is better than anything you've got, I think. Yeah, <laughs> proves pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So yeah, you have a physic scythe. Don't necessarily need to keep it. She just gave it to you because she doesn't need to. So fair enough. Yeah, I will keep it. And then she walks off towards like you know another random door that goes back the way you just came, and she says, "Can you drag the corpses to the kitchen?" And she just kind of walks, and you just hear her saying, "This way." Yeah, sure. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah. So at this point, she's pretty much just gonna go and cook them now. Quite frankly. Yeah, I mean they don't look that bad, right? Yeah, probably eaten yeah. worse. Yep, I've definitely eaten worse. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so like you drag Not them, eater, so. you drag them into the kitchen, which again is just terrible. And then she kind of looks at it and goes, "Can anyone?" And she waves at the what looks like would have been an oven. Actually. So, I never actually cooked anything. And she looks at everyone. I usually just throw it on a fire and hope for the best. Okay. Can you go make fire? <laughs> she um. stares at you. Perhaps with, <laughs> and she says, perhaps with maybe your bang bang? Uh, and just smirks. I've got good survival. I can make fire. <laughs> oh, I've got eight survival. I've got, I've got seven survival. Probably, survival. probably have a plasma. Survival. Does nobody have? 13? Yeah, I was gonna say you've got like a toolkit 
Mix Fiber? Yeah. Sorry, you I are just, a toolkit, in fact, because you actually I have pull, it built in. Uh, do you know it's your exocortex? Yeah, I pull a welding torch out of my arm. Yeah. No, oh, great. r has got it. It's fine. Shall I? <laughs> Did none of you ever learn to cook? <coughs> um... I feel, oh, I you know, I feel Lyco probably did, right? I feel that's something <laughs> yeah. Lyco would have learned. I, I'm just kind of offended. I can cook. <laughs> <laughs> I can cook. Then I, I direct for you to come over. I will do that then. Yeah. And then she and just, she can appoint Start burning says, stuff. I would, um, avoid Which parts the, do you think are edible? Not the neck or the throat. Not only because it seems like your bang bang is lodged within this one's throat, however, it seems that's where the. She kind of like waves her hand, she like. Reverberation glands are. Hmm. Can we use those for anything? It's best you don't. They will what? dissolve, leaving toxins in their body. She looks you up and down. She goes, That might not be a problem for you, though. She kind of shakes her head kind of unknowingly. <laughs> Quiet. Um, well. Do we have wood? She kind of looks at the stove and then looks back at you and she goes, Well, I'll be in the other room, I guess. And she just like walks out swinging her scythe. <laughs> yes, uh, your highness. <laughs> let's 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 delegate a little. Um Everybody t quickly touches their nose. <laughs> 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 Does everybody want their uh, initiative? <laughs> <laughs> you are uh, uh, a big powerful guy. Uh you wanna rip up some flora? Hey, cook the fauna. I reckon Zig would do a better job of tearing out trees. <laughs> With his brain, yeah, yeah. I guess. <laughs> 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 We're just that. looking at him, sort of <laughs> assessing him, seeing this. Zig, you know, scratches the back of his head and looks at the floor. You're reminded Zig. of when the uh, <laughs> dry queen like scratched the back of your neck. Zig, could you go get us some wood, please? Uh, now, does Zig want to go oh. back out into the T-Rex and the the jungle? Not particularly. Okay. D d um, Did is, Zig is that a request? Wooden in this place <laughs> that you would just go and grab. I mean, but I don't catch it in sure there's like a stool or something. Even if it's like a broken stool, an old well, yeah, rotten no, stool. If it's 500 years old, it's probably... Could be a rotten stool! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that you find in the kitchen is the ash that is in the stove. That just is who knows how long. I psychokinetically hand it out the way. Yeah, it just moves into like clouds of dust. Obviously you're doing all this like in the dark as well. Except the male glow. Oh, like... I... I can I can go brighter if you want. <laughs> and she's not in the room, so it's probably not going to bug her. Go unlike the sun you were meant to be, but aren't. <laughs> oh. I do exactly that. Yeah. Can, like, hey, can you go get wood? He just glows brightly. <laughs> <laughs> Am I helping? <laughs> Am I helping? All right, no, I'll go get wood. It's fine. Yeah. So like you head, the you head back out past the conference room. She's just sat at the table, and um, the scythe's just lying across the table, like next to the pile of tools, um, that she had. And uh, she's like, "Where are you going?" Uh, I need, I need to get wood for the fire. Do you, do you want to come? Mm. Sure. She just stands up. Grabs her scythe, kind of just ambly, casually walks towards you. It gets side by side, but you kind of like smirks and smiles, and then just like scruffs your head again, and then just walks up the like a tunnel exit. Cool. Zig follows. Yeah. You just get outside. She shields her eyes, and she says, "Okay, I'll, I'll stand guard." And she just smirks at you. Okie dokie. 
Um, I'm gonna go off and try and get some wood. To our own survival? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Don't know if I want to, but I will. Yeah, I mean... Not great. Yeah, you have some trouble. How do you get over the problem of getting wood from the source of wood, which is big jungle trees? <laughs> um, I'm going to start telekinetically projectiling things at the trees to break the wood. What's the damage potential of those? Oh, they're like 1d6. Okay, yeah, it would take you like a while, but yeah. You could do that. Yeah, it's fine. I think, it's like, a, yeah, like, so you start a, picking up, like, rocks and anyway, stuff. So. Yeah, so you start, like, picking up yeah, rocks so, like, just firing them off, just, yeah. Yeah. And then, I think she just walks up next to you and kind of, like, puts a hand on your shoulder. She's still, like, really narrowed her eyes. And she's like, stand back. She stands probably further than anyone would have assumed. Yeah, and then she just swings through the tree with the scythe. And the thing collapses. Huh. Well, that was easy. Yeah, and she like goes over the tree, kind of like leans down, picks up something from the like the kind of broken over tree, walks back to you, kind of again just casually, one handing the sack again scythe thing, and she walks up to you and hands you one of the rocks that you threw at it. And she goes here, I keep sick. Uh, thanks. And he she just walks away. To kind of, to kind of. Oh, okay, never mind then. <laughs> you can kind imagine, of, he could, tosses you, it over his shoulder. <laughs> yeah, maybe as she walks away, you could then just throw it over your shoulder if you wanted. Oh, I don't know. Actually, I think he tosses it up and down in his hand for a bit, and then yeah. it's literally just a rock like you picked up from the ground. For, yeah, yeah, it's still a rock. It's my rock. Yeah, you keeping it or are you throwing it? I, I will throw it just before we go into the the tunnel part. I mean. She's bit, walking back to the shade of the tunnel because she wants the shade. Um, oh, okay. Am I still going for wood? I don't know. I mean, she cut your tree down for you. She never dragged it, though. It's a big tree. Oh, okay. It is a big tree. Crap. Okay. Um. Oh, heck. Yeah. What have I guess? What, what have I got to break up some of this wood? <laughs> I have no idea, but good luck. If you can lift a um, tyrannosaur, you can lift a tree. Um, I'm going to cast like... Hurl Force Disc at it okay. um, to try and break it up a bit so I can have it in manageable chunks. Sure. Do that. <laughs> what a waste of a spell. <laughs> Is it though? I mean, you will get to eat and not starve, so I don't know. I think that's okay. I don't even know what level of spell this is. Oh, Jesus. Level 2. Level 2. <laughs> and she was like... Throw this first disc yeah. up and down a tree. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I think it just like yeah. pings off and actually smacks through a bunch of other trees as well. Like it goes through the body of this tree that's on the ground, bounces off a couple of other nearby tree trunks. They all like splinter, etc. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's probably like some kind of horrible wooden bombardment, in fact. Shrapnel everywhere. Oh. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, um, it's going well. I like and it. if all goes well, he's going to pick up a bunch of wood and. Yeah, there's definitely a bunch of wood now. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, and just. Yeah, it's probably like, like splinter chunks and stuff like that. Nothing like what you would call a log, but enough to burn something, at least. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he takes as much as he can carry and just takes it back. And then she kind of looks at you. She kind of go in, she just smiles, and then just follows you down. So, yeah. Thank you. And then she just, I don't even think she acknowledges, like she, it's not that she doesn't acknowledge it, I think she just smiles, so whether or not you're looking at her or not, I think the camera's obviously looking at you walking for first, then you say thank mm -hmm. you, and then she just smiles walking behind you, I think. Cool. And then you get back to the, the kitchen, you Dump the pile of wooden shrapnel. Ta-da! 
I, I think you probably find me as you return, like, standing on top of one of the bodies, like, sawing at it with my claws. Because <laughs> <laughs> my, bone, my bone swords are actually, like, almost sword-like. They're not just stabbers. So, like, you can get in there and saw away, like, a good knife. I think you kind of walk in and see that and just kind of drop the wood in the floor and squint a little bit and going. Hey, they do D8 damage. They're strong stuff. What's the damage type again? Piercing, I believe. Or is it slashing? Let me check. It is slashing. There you go. Yeah, you can totally cut them apart with them. <laughs> we should save uh we should save the brains. There's usually there's usually a lot of nutritional value in the brains. I am not eating Ohanasaurus Rex brain. <laughs> Ohana means family. Take your brains though. <laughs> <laughs> Look, looking up from on top of the carcass. Absolutely drenched, probably. And like that kind of like point. glowing yellow blood, yeah. Uh, hey kid, welcome back. Thanks, Sig. I think Nick says looking a bit... Uh... <laughs> Disheartened? Yes, thank you. Are you, also, are you also covered Full in like on. yellow blood? I imagine it's, yeah. Probably like one I'll, half I'll of it's covered knees. in it, where you've just yeah. stood there. Like, ah, uh, I'm present. <laughs> this is something I have witnessed. Mm -hmm. Well, Zora. Mm. Zora just staring just... in front of the oven. Yeah, I'm probably just staring and still thinking to myself, I wonder how this tastes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so who's going to cook it? Uh, this is when you poison this drink okay. queen by accident. <laughs> I say by accident. Right, actually. Mm. I think Like wanted to yeah. put himself forward for cooking. Yep, yep. Happy to. I'm going to cook Lyca. <laughs> I wouldn't advise. I think this might taste better than Lyca, no offence. Oh, <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so a survival roll for that would be alright, I think? Uh, yeah, definitely. 22. I rolled 22 for cooking. Okay, yeah. I mean... Who knew this is where this session was going to go, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so you start, like, you know, you do a reasonable job of burning the meat, right? Um, you avoided the neck, I assume, so, yeah. Yep. Yep, you probably like, cut into, like, it's maybe thigh or something. Um, yeah, and that's that's about it, yeah. You, you have burnt meat successfully. It looks non-raw. Yeah. I take the cereal bar out of my pocket. <laughs> Eat that. <laughs> Maybe there's a brief moment where you think, "Oh yeah, Alice." I don't know. Off camera. Oh dear. And then, um, yeah. What do you do? Do you just head back through with all the the beautifully <clears throat> prepared meal? Yeah, sure. Fuck it. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, well, she just said absolutely. Together, so let's just come back in. Is it prepared? Does it prove difficult? I think it went rather well. Are you still covered in the blood? Yeah, probably. <laughs> this should be edible. Edible will do. Do you know how long it's been since I've eaten anything? <laughs> At least six hours. <laughs> she smirks. <laughs> She's like, you wouldn't be wrong. <laughs> and here's my talent. <laughs> <laughs> the very good at averages. <laughs> and, uh, um, <laughs> she gestures for you all to sit down, even though he's probably didn't care. And then she uses like her scythe to like push everything off the table so it's clear. I will uh, happily join her at the table. Yep. And then she literally just like picks up a big kind of slab of burnt meat and just starts tearing into it with her sharp teeth. 
she eats like somebody who hasn't eaten a long, long, long time. Or a long, long, long time. <laughs> Bottoms up. And then, yeah. Do you all talk in? Absolutely. Begrudgingly. Yeah. <laughs> who, does MD have a dodgy stomach or is everybody okay at eating like strange things? I'm pretty think good. I'm alright with it. Yeah. Probably not for Seal. Imagine one for a guy at this, but actually has particular tastes. Yeah. Like, so. I feel like, like consumption is fine, but then, you know, I guess this is just raw survival at this point, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and then. Um, can. Everyone roll a will save. Oh, hey. What if we roll a wound save? Well, that would be disastrous. Um, Such as. <laughs> ah, wound saves all round, I see. <laughs> yeah. So, What's it against? Do I get my plus one? <laughs> it's Do not, I get my plus two? It's, it's not against fear. What is your bonuses? Lyco, it's, it's, it's your oh. phantom basal ganglia, right? Yeah, it's a, it, anything mental, basically. It's pretty good. So let me get the specific wording. Phantom, yeah. blah, 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 blah. <laughs> let me get the specific <laughs> wording. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Mind affecting effects. <laughs> Mind <laughs> effects. That was the will. <laughs> oh, it's a gift. Um, right. That's 13th age level writing that. Can everyone type in chat, right? In roll twenty, getting ready to hit send. What would be going through their character's head while eating the meat? Right? So while having dinner with the dry queen. Everybody type and get ready to hit enter at the same time. And it can be you know, is it you're thinking about the next step? Are you thinking about what she's up to? Are you thinking about will she ever go get the spaceship she promised or the star vessel that she named it? Um, did she send the creatures? Whatever. Is she trustworthy? Is she not? Where is Alice? Um, is Phil I okay? Um, um, do you know what I mean? So, anything that's going through your head, should, like, are we all going to die on this planet? Maybe <laughs> we could stop by and say hi to Emlyn's family. Maybe that's a bad idea. Like, you know, whatever goes through your heads. Um, I'd just like you to type that. Just whatever would go through it while eating. I guess in that first moment of silence when everybody starts just chewing meat. <laughs> and when you're ready, you can let me know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do everyone hit enter? No. <laughs> I love the phrase mind nods. <laughs> <laughs> cool. You all hear that to each other. Huh. Oh, did somebody say something? And uh, I think as you all like maybe do that thing where you are like thinking all that to you tuck in, you all start to hear that kind of murmur of, like above and between the table, if you will. Um, as you clearly know, you are hearing each other, even though you know you aren't speaking. You all maybe look up and look at each other and dart to her, and then she just looks and shrugs and smirks, and we end the session there. Uh, oh heck! Dun dun dun! Yes. Yeah, right. Oh dear. <laughs> and um, I think the shot is maybe her just shoving a bit of meat into her mouth and shrugging. I think it's possibly the end shot, to be honest. Um, Question yeah. is, can we hear what? Did we hear anything from her? Or is it just I don't know. each did, other's? Was anything from her typed in the chat? No. No. Mm, then I don't think he did. Dun dun dun. Oh. So. Oh my. Meanwhile. 
out of the game. Let's look at the goals. So Zora, not quite there Half yet. Half of it's done. I mean, yeah. no, because it says get back to the final round and debrief the crew. Half of it's done. So it's not, <laughs> you need to get back to the final round and debrief the crew. So we're still working on that, I think. Um, dignified airlocking of SK slash resurrection, I think, is still underway as well. Yeah. Uh, find means to kill Himani is underway. I mean, yeah. killing uh, Himanosaurus Rex is kind of like killing a dragon, right? So it's like a warm up, right? <laughs> uh, sure, let's let's go for that. But yeah, it's ongoing, and uh, Zig, confront Captain about role within the crew. It's ongoing. It hasn't started it's happening. though. Has it started? I think. Okay. It's I like you think so. Does anybody want to update their goals at the moment? No, I should be fine so far. Everybody else happy with their goals as is? Sure, yeah. Next. Yeah, uh, I would I would say that it's perhaps a little bit further out than I'd have thought, but it's definitely the sort of overriding motivation at the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll remove resurrection question mark. Yeah, I mean it's a, I mean stranger things have happened in the world, right? Who have thought you'd eat um delicious Saurus Rex with uh, the drag queen, you know? And then start hearing each other's thoughts. That's weird. Uh, we should be eating the drow queen. That's the dumb thing these days. <laughs> <laughs> she just, right. just a dranker, yeah. <laughs> Make a smoothie. <laughs> uh, That's a good thing I didn't put that thought down. Or just domesticated those two things and rode them back to civilization. I don't know. Like whatever would have worked, really. Both <laughs> of things. Yeah. Uh, right. If everybody's happy with goals, what about the name of the session? Uh, <laughs> how many? How many Saurus Rex can you kill? <laughs> oh <my> <laughs> <laughs> uh, there were so good. Like there were so many good ones. Like <laughs> Um I quite like dry dining, I'm not gonna lie. Art in Castraval. Yeah. Um God, if only Castroval was better at catering or gastronomy, right? It's just that that niche mm -hmm. ground in the middle that doesn't quite give us a good title. <laughs> Castroval uh, catering. Um... <laughs> mm. What else did we have? Um, oh, thoughts on dinner. What were that? That's diner, isn't it? Dinner. Any other suggestions? Dinner service. <laughs> Dinner service. Dinner service, yeah. Anything else? Are we voting? Oh, we've got Zig typing. Dinosaurus, yep. Dinosaurus, yes. Yep. <laughs> There we go. Do we think he saw us? Would we spell it just with a space in the middle? I spell... We could go for Dinosaurus Rex. Because the royalty as well. Yeah. Want to go with that one? Dinosaurus yeah. Rex. Yep. <laughs> yep. I like it. It's, I mean, it's just in keeping with how terribly good our naming schemes are normally, so I, I, I love it. Dinner. With, with the space or without the space for Saurus? Yes. Okay. Yes. With the space, it is. <laughs> space for Saurus. Then there's Saurus. That actually works because, like, space for as in is a room in your belly, you know, you know, you know. Space for Saurus. <laughs> space for Saurus. Um, space for a cheeky Saurus. So, yeah, I, that we're, we're doing well so far. Uh, let us review this and let us start with Nico. Um, Kony, Kony. <laughs> I enjoyed the uh, ridiculous cooking. That was hilarious. Mm -hmm. um, uh, who would have known that what session would have turned into a cooking simulator? Mm -hmm. um, it was good. Mm -hmm. uh, 
conversation at the table was fun, as always. Um, yeah. I'm enjoying the Queen and her snark. Yep. She's very snark. Um, Zora's a bit snarky himself, to be honest. I mean, I mean, yeah. you're, you're a Vesk politician. Who would expect anything but snark? <laughs> <laughs> like, I think people forget you're a politician. <laughs> <laughs> Who would explain the snark, I suppose? Oh. Um, Actually, she's the first person you've met that's unlikely to ever know you're famous. It's true. <laughs> it's true. I'm getting genuine reactions for you right now. It's yeah. great. Um, it was nice. Oh, dying in combat. I mean, and yeah, that combat was pretty slick, is. to be honest. Pretty slick. It was pretty, pretty quick and easy. Um, that's quite a lot done in this session. <laughs> Went for a combat. We cook some food. We had a, a long, lengthy conversation. Some crafting, right? We rolled up. Some, we rolled some eggs. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Oops. Explored some Almost palace. Uh -huh. Yeah. In like a god knows how many centuries abandoned palace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, anything else, Dad? No. Don't do. Don't do. Alex. Nix. <laughs> um, yeah, I enjoyed the banter between. Uh. Zora and the Queen. Mm. I look forward to that relationship blossoming. I really um, enjoyed the back and forth between the... So, the Vesk are going to take over everywhere. And you are calling this Vesk, who's told you this openly, Captain. Accepting yeah. Vesk rule. I did like her uh, take on that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. The, the episode is your, the geopolitics. <laughs> um, um, the reveal of eternity. Yes, indeed, right? Yes. Yeah, we're getting the pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, Ooh, fragments, you could say. The fragments uh -huh. of yeah. etony. Yep. The uh, fragments of eternity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. What else is that? Eternus frangit. Mm hmm. Infringements. I enjoy cooking adventures. Sending Zig out into the forest alone. Yeah, like the same. Honestly, though, no, he's he's the one that can fucking Vader choke people. <laughs> Why are you so? Like, I get it. He's a kid, but seriously, <laughs> he has superpowers. <laughs> Zig out there with the big T Rexes are because we don't want to. <laughs> yeah, I just love the yeah. idea of the rat and the queen just walking out so casually, and her like with her hands over her eyes, like a visor, being like. Okay, I guess you have to go and get wood. Wave, like waves yeah. vaguely at the forest, the jungle. Yeah. And yeah, just apparently 2020 is the year for Nick's 5, just done with it. Yeah. Um, I do enjoy 5.1. I'm, I'm loving it. Yep. <laughs> the, the snide. Oh. oh my god, you're like Matt Hardy. <laughs> uh, speaking of segues, Colin? Like I've me. never segued. <laughs> I don't like your uh no the scores. Yeah, so that was a weird one, wasn't it? Uh I liked getting to shoot big space dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. Uh for several reasons. <laughs> no, partly because you know, it's just nice to actually have a fight that ends quickly, cleanly, and importantly for us with a victory. Um mm -hmm. That isn't like a protracted slog or what have you with a foe that we just can't fucking hit. It is nice. It is a nice little bit. And obviously, our combat isn't generally the fastest. And that's one of the many reasons, pardon me, one of the many reasons we probably don't have as much. Um, but obviously, that sort of compounds itself. But I do like a bit of combat. So that was fun for me. I'm, I'm pleased with that. It was quite amusing how it sort of was the, the archetypal RPG combat encounter. There's a big scary thing. Let's kill it and eat it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yep. So that was good. I enjoyed that. That was fun and tropey. Uh, I also liked... So, I don't know how you took it, Callum, but I like the idea that Zig wasn't quite sure how to take it. But when I said, like, you know, maybe don't consider a career in necromancy... He was he was obviously saying like because it's, oh, sorry <laughs> because it he obviously was saying it in a sense of like yeah that 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 stuff is maybe not something you want to mess with uh, 
but I think I feel like Zig possibly took it as like you're, you're fucking shit. You can't even speak to the one dead body. <laughs> like, I don't yeah. know because with Zig, you have to read. You know, you have to sort of try and read his behavior, but he kind of reacts in a panic to everything. Um, <laughs> so I, I don't know what what you were thinking and what Zig was thinking, but I kind of for me it was amusing because I felt I I felt that there was definitely a way that scene could be taken where it was like. Zeg basically thinks I was dunking on him for no reason because he probably doesn't necessarily know. And that, um, that I mean, assumption I lends quite nicely to the fact that the Queen actually commented as well. Yeah. Um, in a kind of reassuring way to Zig because mm-hmm. she seems weirdly fond of Zig. I don't say weirdly in an insulting way to Zig, just she hasn't really hid her like st- distinct, different yeah behaviour towards Zig compared to the others. Because yeah, she she obviously likes him mm-hmm. already, whereas she's wary of the rest of us. Yeah, not like, hostile like, in. Playfully wary, I think is the best way to yes. f- like to put her mood because you have been useful. She has been useful so far. The end, like the the agreement continues. Um, she has armed one of you, even though you don't need it. But it was more of a kind of symbolic thing, really. Um, Let's face it, she's not tried to kill us as well, which has been every other person we've worked with. So, that's yeah, something. a lot of them have. Yeah. <laughs> Made it clear that he could. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's, to there's be fair, Emma O only appeared in a diner after a brief conversation with, uh, you know, in an office space. And look how that ended up for her. So bitch. That was, it was really bad. That was mostly Alice being like, well, I didn't aim at the diner. <laughs> I think we well, though, we just kind of knew it stood for her, right? Like, arms dealing criminal organisation mm. that isn't quite criminal, but yeah, it is. Yeah, really she was, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. Um, anything else you want to add to uh, Let me think. Yeah, so that was, there's an interesting little plot hook with what has happened with Furler, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Furler is also evidently older than she appears, considering. She set up an account pre gap. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. So that's. Admittedly, the gap is explicitly stated, I think, not to be consistent everywhere. Correct. One of the reasons, probably, it's hard to know exactly how long it lasted. Um, so maybe the gap was less for her than for other people. However, she did not seem even old for a human. Nope. So, hmm. Uh, that's intriguing. Now, that might lead into part of the why she is in sort of a I'll bring a back up her art actually I'll bring back up her art for everybody to see. remember what yeah, she looks like yeah you know as I recall she was kind of hot yeah kind of hot yeah. there you go um the uh the, th- the thing is like we, we, we obviously haven't had them do this before so we haven't necessarily established oh yeah talking to corpses do that every other day or anything like that mm-hmm. But we do know that he can sort of talk to minds and that there's a sense that he would expect to find some sort of residue of life there. Um, I would like, if, it, it would be nice if he could have done it to something else beforehand just to establish this is weird. Mm-hmm. But the game doesn't always work out that way. Um, but there's there's obviously that Hasn't cool little Zig used it before? I feel like Zig's used it on, on the court. I have. Have you? Yeah, yeah Shit, I feel like you who? have used it on, was it Drow bodies or something? I th- Think so. It was it was something or it was something that it was in the. Uh, it might have been in the first vault. Actually, I'm not sure. Nobody might have been there. No, I think it was the first vault because there was no dead there. I think it was. Sorry, was if it I not forgot the enough. guy on the the ship. Um, I honestly don't remember. I just feel like you'd have used it. Yeah. Quite, quite possibly. I, I just, I don't recall it. I apologize. That's uh, okay. um, no, that's fine. What I think would be, I, I don't remember a scene with like a, like a, I, I just don't. I, so there, maybe, maybe like there was something I was missing for or something. Any road up. Uh, yeah, Wasn't it was. It, it was see when you went to it, it was cool then, it was Didn't you take a body back with you? Yeah, the one. Yeah, we took was the body one? back and then we left like the weird shift. zombie it might guy. Might have been that one. Yeah. Yeah. I think oh, that yeah, was... from the from Absalom. Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah. I think. But um, did we talk to that? I, I kind of thought he just wanted to. I think I do remember. I don't think it was that one specifically. I think we did try and like make a, a zombie speak. Whether or not um, Lyco was present, I don't remember. 
um, we'd have to trail through a handful of episodes. Well, it, but yeah, good luck with that. Um, these things get weepy. Yeah. Um, but the, 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 the general point was it was a cool little hook there that something is different about her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and that there might, you know, we might need to investigate why this is because it could be a good thing, could be as uh, the Queen says, it could be, well, you know, she's with her god. Mm-hmm. But. I happen to know, as a as a Barai or Lyco happens to know, that that is the normal state of affairs, and yet most people can be resurrected, mm. right? Mm-hmm. That you you sort of you get a soul, you get an afterlife sort of thing. So actually, Lyco maybe has an advantage there in terms of knowledge, because I don't think everyone in universe would be aware that basically the dead are normally interactable, and that if you have a dead thing that's just dead, that's weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like inanimate and dead and gone and dead are very different. Like formerly yeah, like, living and inanimate are the I think two people definitions. Obviously, are very much aware of the supernatural elements in the universe, but I don't think it necessarily people are necessarily aware of like you know you might you might have a god that you worship. You don't necessarily think like everything the other guys say about their god is true. Mm-hmm. You and might think that like she'd have been speaking from a her time and her like the religions yeah. of her like era, as it were, like the Lady of the Graves, instead of just saying like Phrasma, for example. Yeah. Um it's maybe a bit more almost seen as a science, maybe, in a way. Um like rituals as um experiments or equations, if that makes sense. So I think there's yeah, ultimately, um <laughs> So this reminds me of one of my favourite little uh, <laughs> This is a massive tangent. But the idea of like magic as science, uh, there's a, a, a character uh, in, I'm going to shock you with this, 40k, Mertarian, oh, he gets. who has a, he, he is a psyker, which is basically a wizard. In fact, he's a demon now, so he's, he's made of magic. But there's a great conversation he has in the warp with the greater demon of Norco, uh, Kugath, the plague father, um, where he's like, you know, you do magic. He's like, no, 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 no magic. Disgusting psychers. Ugh, no, no, no. I, I do the arcane sciences. And it's like, so magic, yeah. And I just, I love oh. that idea of like people deluding themselves, and I love just the way it played into like because yeah, obviously it's the same as psychic um, powers are magic. To compare Usually, to another but world as well. It's a bit like how the force is the force in Star Wars, but some people treat it like push and pull. Other people treat it like wizardry or sorcery or magic. Or Which witchcraft. is the thing that yeah. I really enjoyed about yep. the most recent one. So, because it is magic. Yeah, it is magic. Yep, agreed. Hundred percent agreed about that statement alone. And we'll Force necromancy. Cease our Yay! conversations about Star Wars. There. Anything else you want to add about this game? Uh it was good to be back. Wasn't it just? Yeah. I am. Yeah. Callum. <laughs> I love being back. It's good. Good. It's nice to ah uh, breathe a zig once again. Um, this might have been no, the nicest, I'm, most I'm, peaceful I'm okay. session you've actually had, by the way. <laughs> As I, said, I, was, I really enjoyed like the the nice easy pace. Yeah, the, nice. yeah. Easy. Having to stress over anything. A little bit of combat, but nothing we couldn't handle. A little bit of combat, a wee cooking mini game, and uh, it was quite cozy. I loved really. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was being cozy. I loved, I loved, um, I loved uh, our, our budding relationship between our captain and the the queen. <laughs> um, it's fantastic. Mm. Um, I think everyone's kind of covered everything though, so yeah, I'll keep mine short. Okay, you didn't have to, but that's okay. Because I'm yeah. starting to fall asleep. <laughs> that's understandable. I um, I have nothing I've said other than it was really good being back. I will obviously try and arrange whenever the hell we're coming back for another session off camera. Right, thanks for playing, everybody, and goodbye. 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 goodbye.